Worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Well, hello everybody <laughs> And welcome to, what are we? Life at Home Broadcast We are happy to be with you I'm Paul And I'm Jeannie And... Did we already say the date? No, we didn't. No, it's Monday, April 27th, 2020. The 27th, yeah. Have you noticed all the uh, governors and states and people all seem to be grappling over, you know, when are they, they going to let us out of this quarantine? In fact, did you know uh, Newport Beach was, was uh, slammed yesterday with uh, a lot of people on the beach? So much so that now the... Uh, mayor is thinking of closing Newport Beach back up again so this is interesting well what have you got for us today Jeannie um, if you didn't hear the message yesterday uh, it was a great message and uh, it was from Hebrews 11 and the title was faith that's vital so I think you can still listen to it on uh, YouTube but um so i've been thinking about faith and how important it is and yeah. uh, that we trust who we put our faith in which is god and his word and his promises especially is what i got out of it and so if we really really believe his promises are true wouldn't that make us want to pray more because we would expect that as he hears us He's going to answer those prayers yeah, because he's exactly. able to, right? right? So, um, so I was thinking about that, and I uh, is it okay if the birds <laughs> join in? Us? You guys mind if my birds join in us? <laughs> he loves you know, it when we sing. And the neighbors mowing the lawn. And the mind. neighbors mowing the lawn. Yeah. So you know this is really from our dining room table. <laughs> my bird's name is Pete. These are not uh, special effects. Or... No, they're not. <laughs> anyway, so we. Uh, to look at our faith to see if it is really vital uh it would show us that we're taking that to the next step which is continually expecting god to answer prayer because he's more than able and he's had has all these promises so luke 18 um the last verse especially is what i want to zoom in on but i'm going to go ahead and read this it says luke 18 verse 1 one day jesus told told his disciples a story to illustrate to them that they should always pray and never give up. So that's his heart towards us too. We're to always pray and never give up, which means we might not see the answer right away. Verse 2 was the story. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. <laughs> he must have been a, not a very nice dude. Hard news. Yeah. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly saying, give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she's wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who mm. cry out to him day and night? Mm. Will he keep putting them off? And then this is the verse that came to my mind this morning. And it is a little sad, but it also is inspiring. Verse 8, I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly, but when the Son of Man returns, how many will he find on the earth who have faith? Yeah, it's a sad verse, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, I want to be one of those that when he comes back, he looks at me and says, Jeannie, thank you for mm. not giving up, for continuing to pray, and to trust me with your faith that I will do what I promise to do. So how about you? As you're in this time of time out, are you praying more than you've ever prayed before, and are you deciding to trust that he will keep his promises. Yes. You know, what stands out to me is I like that lady. Yeah. <laughs> she was going to get justice, <laughs> and she didn't care how long it took, and she was at it. She seems to be somebody that you would want to have on your side yeah. uh, if the going gets tough, and particularly if 
uh, she is a woman of prayer, which I think that's the picture at the start anyway, mm -hmm. that uh, here's the example of somebody who prays and just does not let up. go. Yeah, it doesn't let up. So uh, that is exciting to me. That's encouraging that it almost seems like, uh, uh, you know, the story of uh, the kids in the back of the car when you're driving on vacation and they keep saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> but uh, it's where we, that drives, you know, drives us ragged. But I think the Lord is saying, go ahead, let me have it. <laughs> Are we there yet, Lord? Are we there yet? <laughs> Is my answer coming yet? Is Lord? my answer coming? Because <laughs> I'm going to keep praying. And you promised us. Yeah. So I'm basing it on your yeah. promises. Yeah. So I kind of see it too as an invitation from the Lord, you know. Let's worship. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say, Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you, we live for you. so good to be before you lord and be with you and lord i know that you want to build our lives and i know that you are a firm foundation your word is a firm foundation lord and we put our faith in you and we choose to put our faith this day into your word lord build us father shape us and form us more and more into the image of your dear son how great it would be as we move along in our faith for us to be recognized as being at least a little bit like Jesus. Maybe even more than a little bit. So Father, bless my brothers and sisters. Encourage them. Uh, I pray your blessings upon every heart, Lord, that hears this. May it be spread far and wide because that's what this time is all about. 
In Jesus' name. And do not give up praying. Amen. In Jesus' name.